If you follow this channel, you know that I use it to communicate insights from my research on the foundations of physics. And by foundations of physics, I don't mean things like quantum gravity, string theory, quantum interpretation, no. What I'm interested in is in recovering the underlying assumptions that are embedded in the physical theories, understanding exactly what the mathematical symbols represent, what is the best way to connect the idea from mathematics, physics, philosophy, computer science, and so on. I just want to know and have a clear understanding of the current physical theory. Now, even though these sort of topics don't seem to excite the research community, there are quite a few people that are interested in these sort of things. And YouTube has uh, helped to spread this idea a lot more than all the other papers that we published combined. Uh, in fact, somebody who initially uh, learned about our research through this YouTube channel is going to start his uh, PhD here at Michigan working on these things. Isn't that crazy? And so I thought, wouldn't it be even more crazy if I started doing actual research on YouTube? Not this channel, because YouTube doesn't seem to like when you mix two things too much, but on another channel. Instead of posting things that I have figured out, I could post things that I haven't fully figured out. Conjectures, ideas, things I'd like to know. And maybe one of you is an expert in quantum optics or in foundations of calculus. Or maybe one of you knows a theorem that I don't know that could be useful. Or maybe you're just interested in seeing half-baked ideas. Who knows? Fine, it's probably a stupid idea and it's never going to work, but what the heck. So, if you want to see how this turns out, subscribe to Assumptions of Physics The Research. Link in the description. E comunque vada, sarà un successo.